Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Last time I promised you that I would make a decision about exploring this place, and I did make the decision. I decided to explore the place but spare this room where this strong lady is, and I will take a note to simply continue exploring this place. So I won't rob it for, of everything. And we have the expensive axe, remember we have this 2000 gold axe, orcish battle axe over here. And there is the next enemy. Oh. I think these are pretty, pretty good. Nope, that's the wrong button. I need to do this. I don't have enough magicka to do spark. Oh, it didn't select. That's too unfortunate. Well. I think this this would work if I <laughs> if I would be able would have been able to do see that English is not my native tongue. One, two, switch to the weak spark, which I still can do, and hit her, and there we go. I can't rest here because enemies are nearby. Well, I still can take another one of these hella expensive axes. I still can carry it, which is awesome. Okay. The bone mold armor rating of two. I think this. I don't even know how to pronounce this word. To is cuirass. I I know the German word, which has an u, like the u with dots on on top, uh, which is pronounced cuirass. And so it's it's is it also pronounced something like u cuirass? Well, it still is weaker than the one that we have, so I'm not going to use it. There we go. Okay, let's let's head back outside so we can rest. This is a little grindy. <laughs> and it is it is different than I did play before when back when I had the game in the first place. Because the way I played before was I overloaded myself, then you can't move anymore. Then I just put dropped a little bit, then I moved a few like a little bit closer to the exit, dropped everything off and ran back inside. Then I had this gigantic pile of stuff, and I'm, ge I'm gesturing with my hands right now. This gigantic pile of stuff um, in front of the um, in front of the ruin, and then I was running back and forth <laughs> between selling stuff and the ruin itself. Okay, this is another door. Can we peek inside? If there is someone inside, mm, doesn't seem like it. Let's see. Let us try with a probe. Because it doesn't say trap too complex, it's a disarm trap failed. Let's do for the other door just to get the and drop the quick save. Uh, that was one. <laughs> just to train the security skill, and here just to train the spell. Let's get back to this and check what we have inside. It's a staircase. I just want to say it's a trap. It's a trap. I can't rest. Yes. Look, he was not that hard to... And I'm playing that game on a rather easy difficulty. Another key to the ruin. I only own one. And yes, I'm not using it because, you know, training and stuff. Well, I could use... I could technically ignore the unlocking by using the key. Let's... Well, let's, let's, let's check the school. It is alteration. Alteration is 38. I, I think we can, we can skip the opening spell, which will save Magicka. Come on, you gotta be kidding me! Come down here so I can attack you. There we go. Annoying creatures. Okay, there we go. So we can skip the opening spell because we are already rather good with that, but we should still use the trap disarm for the security training. 
Ah, uh, maybe I can. No, I can't. Uh, let me load my quick save. <laughs> and someone on Twitch just gave me back my print. Thank you for that. I desperately needed that. And fare thee well. Hope we see each other again. Also, let me head back up here. I'm not just giving up now. One, eight. Two, and that was not good. Kill me so I can load. Thank you. Sometimes it's faster to just get killed than to, to open the menu. I don't even know if there is a... I'm going to really quick check if there is a quick load option. And bind it to F9 if there is. Mm, controls. Quick menu. Quick save. Quick load. It is already bound to F9. Uh, I needed to change all that for, for half life. <laughs> okay, there we go. Try to one, a two. There we go. This was very good. We have another of these battle axes, which are expensive and more gold. So this is awesome. We have lots of money, provided we can sell it. So we should use some Tavani bug mask before we sell these axes, else we only get a shabby, 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 shabby price? Shabby price, I think it is. <sighs> English. I love you, but I'm still not that good at you. Kinda weird how I'm a, how I'm a grammar Nazi in English, but not in German, which is my native language. Uh, no, T. Rest until healed, my friend. Which should automatically drop a quick save, so... Let's take another sip of something to drink. I'm just going to say so that much. It is an energy drink. And I did want to, to talk about that. Hmm? Die with honor coward. I think I think she in, inside here she just saw me. So it is an energy drink. And um, I actually dislike the taste of energy drink so um, why, why am I drinking this well this is one so first the energy drink story because I'm telling everyone I can tell you too so I had uh, I had I think it is called tongs in your mouth when your teeth are crooked and they have to be corrected a heavy dremor chest which is owned so whenever I take something out of here it is Counts as stolen. The drink sword. The coherer. Coherer, I guess, because it is coherent. Or it makes things coherent. It's very heavy and doesn't. Not very valuable, but I'm going to take those coins. And honestly, I'm always also going to take the sword, even though this is now contraband. Um, so I had this and we have this too. So back then I didn't brush my teeth that much. So whenever I went to the doctor, to the, um, it's a special dentist for these things, for the braces, that's the word. It's a special dentist for braces. Oh yeah, I'm going to take the diamond. And even those, no, I'm not going to take those. But the fire salts. Oh, wait a second, the, those were drain health, right? If this is, yeah, I'm going to take this and just try making a potion with it. Ooh, dire flame arrow. Gold. The other stuff isn't that expensive. Let's see, gold is good. Soul gem, I could even use. Restore strength is also something good to sell. Especially since the quality isn't that shabby. Okay, there is someone back there. I don't know if that fight will work. But what I'm going to do is um, first press Q uh, to open the inventory because uh, obviously I'm completely stunned by the <laughs> keys. Okay, there we go. I'm going to 
could use the fire souls together with the scrap metal and not get a potion out of it. Tranquility. No, it doesn't look like it. Sally, I can't try making another potion. That's why I took that stuff. That was not very good, and he's running away, which is weird. But, um, okay, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Restore strength, restore health. Hey, you do have restore health. Rising force, restore fatigue. Mm, no, restore magicka. Well, I do have these, which are poisonous. Where did you run off to? Where did you run off to? Is he up here? Yeah. Well, let's try that one, and I already guessed it. It doesn't help me that much. That's what happens if you cast your spell and don't hit your enemy. I'm nearly dead, so I'm going to real quick use the Restore Health Potion, Restore Agility, Blight Disease, Restore Strength. There it is, exclusive Restore Health. And switch to my short blade. There we go, a Life Ring, Restore Health. Well, these are medium armor, so I'm just going to. Wow, 2,800. These are very orcish weapons. Are very expensive. So this is 26 in weight, and this is 15. So this is even. This is more value by weight ratio. Well, this is nearly a value by weight ratio ratio of 10. Some more, but I can take. These. I can definitely take these. Okay. Well, it's real. Quick drop a quick save and check out what else we have here. There is some lava. I, I kind of wonder what he's doing here. He's just standing there. But that's. Well, that's Morrowind for you. That's how the enemies behave in Morrowind. Well, I can take those two. And there is a drain health, so I can take this one. And if it does not recognize the left click, it doesn't work. And try creating a potion. And it worked. I created my very first poison. And I'm still over encumbered. Yeah, slightly. Okay, I have to ditch something. This is a value of 9, and I guess it is not enough to just drop the ring. I mean, yes, I know that I can heal myself using the ring, but... Um... Oh, the Drain Health Potion has a weight of 5. Well, you know what, I'm going to... I want to use it on my... Okay, how do you use a potion on your sword in Morrowind? Hmm. A, a, a poison, that is. I need to check that out. I need to read that up. So let me real quick write um, how to poison a weapon. Okay going to do this in between episodes while I'm doing the witty banter with people watching the stream on Twitch there we go let's head back outside so this room is the map please so we only are missing this room now where I know that there is a woman behind who is not to be trifled with I'm going to try anyway 
one more time before just taking a note. There we go. Before just taking a note that we need to come back here when we are stronger. Okay, one thing we can do is definitely, definitely untrap the door. My security skill increased. And we can try to do it like this, but it's, it also means we can only have one. Shot, literally. Ouch. Yeah, I did not heal on purpose. Or even even I don't even have a healing potion. So coming back to the energy drink story. Ah, it saves before, not after uh, healing. Okay. So I um we have this toothpaste called El Elmex Jelly or Elmex Gel, and it's a red gel, which is supposedly tastes like cherry, but it also has this weird aftertaste. And since I didn't brush my teeth when I was um, when I was a teenager, because teen I, I was a teenager, and basically I didn't do it to rebel against you know my parents and everyone. Um, I did have the problem. That's what I wanted to do. I did have the problem that I, um, well, I had stuff. My teeth weren't that good. I never had black holes, but had the problem. Wow. Oh no, I'm not going to trifle with her. She is not to be trifled with. I'm going to write that down and select. This is I'm I'm out of yeah let me let me let me let the game load real quick. I left the focus out of the game. Now you have a little at least a little image. So. Um search I'm so left. Uh no not search. Loot is correct. I can attack her through the door the what now? It was a. This was a successful attack through the door. Well, I'm counting it as a glitch and going to ignore it. Um, so what they did when I went to the to the um, bracers doctor, let's call it and like that. It's a special kind, uh, as I said, special kind of teeth doctor. Dentologist, I guess, is the English term. So every time I went there, they used, they, basically they bathed my teeth in this in this stuff, in this Elmex gel. And as I said, it has a weird aftertaste, which I came to associate with toothpaste. And with, um, with that experience. And sadly, most energy drinks do have the same aftertaste. So basically, energy drink reminds me of that experience and of that yucky taste. And it actually makes me, in the worst case, it makes me nauseous. So I need to check which kind of energy drinks I can drink. And I figured out I can usually drink those which are named juiced or with juice or something like that. Because those don't have the... Those don't have this aftertaste. Mind you, I do like the taste of gummy bears that the that the energy drinks have. It's just the taste that stays once you've swallowed them, which is very yucky for me. And so I'm drinking an energy drink because I do love the taste its taste right now. As I said, it's it's one with juice, it's one with, with mango. And there are two energy drinks with mango. I do love mango. 
There are two energy drinks with Mango, Rockstar and Monster, that I know of. If you know more, just, just let me know in the comments below or um, in the chat on Twitch. Um, mango energy drinks. They both are attacking me. Oh, no. no, the bull is just ignoring me. Okay. And um, I, I do love its taste. So it's kind of weird. I do love its taste, but regular energy drink, I hate, I just, it's, it's disgusting for me. So, um, and I would love to have this as a lemonade. The same taste, but without caffeine, without guarana, without all that stuff that, that um, uh, makes you fired up and stuff like that. Um, so I can even drink it before going to bed without getting, because I do get problems when I drink energy drink right before going to bed. I would really, really love that because I love that taste. So that's my energy drink story, which I'm not. Um, yeah. I said, yeah, because uh, uh, of course my sleep has been interrupted, which I'm not tired of telling. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, now let us spiral back to Dagenfeld so we can take the boat. And head back to Edvida and hand over that quest. And then I think we should learn either a stronger open lock spell. You could even try making it actually because I have two notes which say we do need to open strong locks like level 70 or something and I have another note that says we need to know how to charm someone one of those is to get the pants back for Mr. Pantsless oh, I thought so and the other one, um, we need to charm someone in the foreign quarter plaza to investigate the slander against someone. Orain Furnace. Okay. Let us rest now. Perfect. So, we are taking the right. This one is no match, provided we hit. We are out of magic now. Well, anywho. One thing that they changed is that... Or that they supposedly changed is that enemies flee from you um, when they are afraid of you, but basically in, in, in later games, I mean, Basically, this seldom happens, so basically you're still fighting rats and the such. On the other hand, in the successor of this game, you're able to recharge Magicka as you go. Just wait a while and it'll recharge on its own. Which is not the case in this one. There we go. Take and take. And we can head on.
So that was our quest to get the scarab plans from the ruins of Msulavd. And we're still going to... I'm going to give the quest back to Edwina and then end the episode. Because we do want to complete something, don't we? So up here there is nobody who seems to require our help. Which is pretty sad. I would have loved to do some questing up here. Okay. Oh, come on then, say something or move on. Well, Anya, how about you you're not this well, if you're not the ship service, then go away. I don't want to talk to you. Don't Emma, you're the ship service. Yes. I want to talk to you. I want to go back to the mainland. Thank you very much. And I want to go back to... So now I could I could select cool where I came from, but I'm going to select Sadrath Mora because I do know that there is a major skill there. And we do want to go to the major skill. Let me real quick check. I'm pretty sure we do have the note. Because I don't know if I did this already. I think I did not. So let us... I guess we've only been to Wolverine. Yeah, we've only been to Wolverine Hall. Else this door will be open. Okay. So we do need to do some formality first. Because everyone entering this place needs to have a permit. And we get the permit from this nice guy. Not guy. I'm Angaradel, the prefect of hospitality here at the Gateway Inn. Shall I tell you about my trade? Or do you need hospitality papers? Or perhaps you're open to an offer of work? I do need the hospitality papers, please. According to the collective articles of the Council of the Great House Telvani, outhouse and outlander guests in Sedrith Mora may not travel in town or speak or to or conduct business with citizens, tradesmen or publicans unless they have hospitality papers. This is for the comfort and safety of our guests. As Prefect of Hospitality for Sedrith Mora, I can provide you with these papers for 25 gold. Would you care to purchase these papers? Well, as I said, this is this is an act of bureaucracy, and sometimes you need to do that. So we are going to purchase the hospitality papers, because we are, of course, heeding the local laws. Thank you. And there, you are, there are your papers. They permit you to travel in town and speak to and conduct business with citizens, tradesmen, and publicans anywhere in Sedrith Mora. Of course, you, we hope you will stay with us here at the Gateway Inn. Travelers of all professions, factions, and professions, professions, factions, and professions are welcomed and made comfortable here. Thank you very much. Can you tell me something about the House Telvani? Because I do want to join them. We live comfortably. Our wizard lords keep us secure and otherwise leave us alone. All we want is to be left in peace and do as we wish. Hmm. That coincides with. with what I want, to be honest. There is someone. Which is be a wizard lord and be left alone. Oh, this is a slave. Sarava, so I'm going to come and set you free one day. Just you wait. I can't see any fellow Kajidi in chains. You, you have Scaly, to you can stay in chains. But you, friend. I'm going to get you back to the warm sands of elsewhere. Okay, he... well... Our prefect of hospitality also hinted that he has some work to do. So, um, what about that work? A ghost is haunting our south third bedchamber. As soon as we get rid of it, it reappears. We can't rent the room and all our guests are in uproar. The mage mistress Arara Uvulas must kneel off his mouth came to take a look, but said she couldn't see how to stop the hauntings. 
If you can get rid of the gateway haunting permanently, I will offer you, offer you a choice from a number of valuable items from a local enchanter. So can you tell me a bit more of, about this gateway haunting? The ghost is in the south third bedchamber if you want to look, for, go and look for yourself. Head upstairs, then get, keep heading south and up the stairs to the room. It is hard to drive it away, but it always comes back. Mage mistress Arara Uvula's Masaniloth's mouth inspected the room, but couldn't say why it reappears or how to stop it. Go talk to her if you like. She's always at the Telvani council halls. She thinks it may be some mischievous sorcerer. If that's true, find out who is responsible and make it stop. Well, I'm going to. Nice flat top, by the way. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this haircut. I'm going. I'm going to come for you. Don't tell anyone. So let us take a look. There's really people from all around the world here. I mean, what do you want? Uh, Adani, do you, do, do you, well, I can't let you go free right now. It would upset these people here. Even though I would want to do that. Okay, I don't need these. Restore strength, cool blood disease, restore agility, restore luck. Rising Force, I'm going to keep. I'm going to take one of these. Restore Luck is not an interesting effect for me. Resist Poison. Drain Willpower, no. Basically. You know what? I'm just going to to sell everything. Simplest way. Okay, so you have 871. Hmm. Yeah, they don't even buy that. Okay. Well, then that's it. Let's make 580. Oh, they have, I have 800, they only have 300. Okay. How about... To take this... Because I can use it. And even let you keep a little bit of the change. Then I'm going to use these to try and make a potion. These two. Which glitched out. Did I? I accidentally clicked cancel, didn't I? I'm used to the OK button beyond being on the lower right corner. The potion failed. OK. OK, I'm listening. Yeah, but I'm not talking. What's this about? I'm just checking who you are. Honestly, I'm just checking out what kind of people are there. And if someone can offer me some services that I can use. Lives of the Saints, no skill increase, and it was owned, so I'm not going to take it. It's about time we got a house for ourselves, isn't it? Okay, honestly, I did promise that I'm going to bring back the stuff to Edwina, but I'm first going to check out this place. You weren't talking about me, were you? I, I was talking to the viewers. But I guess a high elf like you doesn't understand something like that. Like, fourth wall and that, that, that stuff? Well, anywho. I'm going to check out this place and I'm going to, okay, and I'm going to try to get and uh, become a member of the House Telvani. Is this quite enough for you, Risa? Thank you. So I'm going to bid you farewell 
As always, the dice will tell you when the next episode comes out. Bye bye.